Make sure you check out my sponsor, Cyberpower UK. As always, the link is down in the description. So what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another Garden Warfare 2 video. Today is another ability comparison video because we got a brand new ability. The brand new ability that we got was the Mood Shield for the Citron character. You can currently get this right now if you buy the after party upgrade i believe it costs like 7.99 in the uk or like maybe ten dollars and in that bundle you get party corn party brains two rooks abilities i believe the plant one gives you the mood shield the zombie one gives you the super guided ultra ball if you already have that ability you get 50,000 coins if you have the party characters you get 100,000 coins per character and you also get yourself 50 rainbow stars as well. Currently right now, that is the only way to get this new ability, but I'm pretty sure Rooks is going to sell it at some point in the future. We just don't know when. Also, I'm going to leave a straw poll down in the description. I would like you guys to click on the link, and I want you guys to vote on whether you want to see more ability comparison videos. I know there were quite a few that I've not done, like I've not done uh, the Heal Flower to the Dark Flower, that's one that's been requested in the past before. Just click the link and let me know if you would like to see some more ability comparison videos. But as I just mentioned, today we're going to be comparing the Citron's Peel Shield to the brand new Mood Shield ability. As always, we take a look at the description of these abilities to start off with. The Peel Shield says, Harnessing cutting edge bio citronics, the Peel Shield absorbs all incoming damage while still allowing you to shoot through it. The Mood Shield has a little bit of a longer description. This one says, Stronger than its Peel Shield counterpart, this shield can withstand much more incoming damage, but it has a much shorter duration. It also changes colour so you know when it's almost destroyed. And I'm going to just say that changing colour is a really cool feature that the Mood Shield does have. The question is, what's the difference? Well, the Mood Shield only lasts for seven seconds and this is providing that it doesn't take any damage so seven seconds is not a long time because the peel shield if that doesn't get destroyed will actually last for 30 seconds that is a huge difference between how long the shields are going to stay up of course the mood shield as said in the ability description will take more damage i believe the mood shield will absorb 150 damage and the Peel Shield will only absorb 75, so the Mood Shield absorbs twice as much damage, it also changes colours once the damage drops down, it starts off being kind of like a, a, a bluey colour, then when it takes a little bit of damage it goes green, and then when it's almost destroyed it will go red. The Peel Shield absorbs 75 damage, so that's half the amount that the Mood Shield will absorb, but of course it does last a lot longer. The next and final bit of information that we do take a look at is how long does it take for these abilities to recharge so you can use them again. And there's actually no difference between these abilities. They both take 30 seconds to recharge. So there's no difference between how long the abilities take to recharge. The Mood Shield lasts 7 seconds if it's not destroyed. The Peel Shield lasts 30 seconds. The damage that the Mood Shield absorbs is 150, whereas the Peel Shield is 75. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about the Mood Shield against the Peel Shield. Personally, I'm probably going to stick with the Mood Shield because I think that extra damage that it absorbs is very good. And even though it does only last 7 seconds, that can be enough time for you to be able to um, withstand or take out a zombie or... It's enough time in them 7 seconds for the Peel Shield to be destroyed anyway. So, I would definitely go for the Mood Shield. You can pick it up right now with the After Party uh, upgrade, which I believe, like I mentioned, is $7.99 in the UK and like $10 in the US. Something like that. But hopefully you guys did enjoy today's ability comparison video. Make sure you click the straw poll link down in the description if you haven't already. Go vote on whether you would like to see some more ability comparison videos in the future. But thank you very much for watching. My name is Zero Exfusions and hopefully I'll catch you guys next time.